Alvaro is trouble. But he's so funny and handsome. You really think he's handsome? Or is it because there's no other men out here? At this point, mommy, I don't care. Then would you care if I told you he went after Imelda and Ines too? Because he slept with them. Wake up. Wake up? To this? To washing my underwear and face in the same Hola. bucket? Hola. Glad you stuck around. Dale, come on. I need your help to find the lieutenant. Our soldier friend said he saw Napoleon El Pequeño's private island. So you and me are going to take a boat from a dock in Siniestra to Cayo Villarreal. Real. We take out this Singao and Jose's whole operation crumbles. But keep this between you and me, okay? Papa's got enough stress to deal with right now. See you at the boat. Wake up? To this? To washing my underwear and face in the same bucket, waiting to fight for our freedom? Why? <laughs> okay, okay. Just don't let him fight for us. A special customer. Need some excitement in your life? <coughs> Look down, partner. Danny, want to get down and dirty? And by that, I mean knock soldado face down. Anyone like fossils? Nerd shit? I need your help. Nothing. Someone's out there.
We are taking a lot of risks for one lieutenant. Want to complain? You can swim. Nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey. We have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once. South of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lift. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, is the day hell freezes over, Tammy. Coño. You Monteros are stubborn. Not me. Just Papa. <laughs> sure. Sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See. Si. That's how we got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. Carlos doesn't have a plan. His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon el Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit, but if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things. Be agile. Stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. You smoking Mexican? Tobacco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come mierdas. Shit. ¿Qué pasa? Jose fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's... With the lieutenant we were looking for. Looks more like a scientist. Let's take Jose out. No. no. You might hit the lieutenant. What's going on? Fuck. Hey. Over there. I need to know where that scientist is going. Let's search his place for intel. Let's go. Maybe his friend by the helipad can help. I guess you didn't hear about Munoz and Rubio. What about them? That's who we replaced. Nobody's heard from them since they were taken here. Trust me, this is not the assignment we want to set in. Oh, shit. I just told my wife to go ahead and buy that house. Well? Yeah, probably won't be around to be
They've got a medic. Dog.
Okay. Still have to find intel on where that scientist went. They're gone. Repinga. Congratulations and welcome to my island, fellow soldier. You are here because you are the truest and most loyal of the Arabs. Only a select few are allowed in this special place. Here, you will be treated like gods. There are no rules because you have proven yourself to be free of them. Come for the views, my true Arabs, and stay for the sex and violence. He says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island. No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. Bob, Bob. El Pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse, south of here.
Yo sabía que alguien iba a morir. Dios mío. Gracias. Gracias. José es amor. José es un psicópata. Espada. José was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. Enfermo mental. I shouldn't be surprised. Good work, though, Danny. I found where that scientist works. The Singao we saw earlier. His lab's in Refmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then are you going to tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need you to know. So why do you want this guy so bad anyway? El Come Mierda checks all the tobacco leaves for the Vivido process. We fuck up the leaves, we fuck up the cancer drugs, we fuck up Napoleon e Pequeño's operation. Make him look bad in front of old Uncle Anton. A lot of heat. So how you wanna do this? We kill soldiers until we find him. And then? And then we kill more soldiers. Simple. I like it.
be careful here. Watch myself. to take the shoot. See you, engineer. Attention, true Yarans! This is General Jose Castillo with an important announcement. While El Presidente has been rebuilding their lives, I have been rebuilding our military. I am sure you are all very impressed. You should be. Our forces have grown ten times over the past six months. Our military might has exceeded even my greatest expectations. Now, thanks to me, the world no longer sees us as weak and incapable of defending our great nation. Our brave soldiers are prepared to die to defend the air. Mierda is right. You look like shit, hermanito. Hermanito? We've been hunting your brother this whole time? Who the hell are you? Why didn't you just tell me? Alejandro, come on. We're going home. Vete pal carajo. Ale. Suéltame. Cojones. Look at the photo! Put the fuck, Ali! 
I'm not going anywhere. I told you before, and I am telling you now. I believe in Castillo. I believe in Diviro and Jose. He's seen the vision through. Napoleon el Pequeño is a slave driver. He's fucking loco. <laughs> Says the person trying to kidnap me. You change your name. You change your uniform, but you are still a Montero. And Papa still got a machete up his ass. And you are running to the jungle like you did when you were five. Except now you kill people and you got yourself, what is it, the spike? The sword. Wow, clever. What? You are going to stab me now? Papa, I'm sick. I don't care. Papa gave up on me a long time ago and you know it. Family's a bitch, no? That's what I hear. We should split up. Not a word about this to Papa. Just glad I know the real story now. I was worried you wouldn't help if you know my brother was military. He's a traitor. See, si. but he's still family. Come back to camp soon. We got more work to do. Yeah. 